you know, obviously you've got Dejan Lovren walking out in the World Cup final tomorrow night. This week he came out and said he deserves to be rated now amongst the, the best defenders in the world. Would you, would you go along with that? <laughs> Yeah, it would be better that somebody else would say that and not Dejan. <laughs> <laughs> but actually, but actually, he's right. To be honest, the only problem is that obviously nobody really thinks about it. But if you go in the detail, it's 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 not a big surprise that they are there. Huh? They don't have world-class right, left, fullback and stuff like that. And in the end, they don't concede. In the middle of the park, they play quite offensive. Brozovic, Rakitic. Modric, so they're, they're quite offensive, so somebody needs obviously to, to fix all that and he's a big part of that. So he was with us in the Champions League final, he was three years ago with us in the European League final. Yeah, he didn't win that, but that makes only 11 players better on this position, only then maybe two on the centre-half position, same in the Champions League game. I didn't see two, two better centre-halves in the Champions League to the Champions League final, though, only more ruthless. So, and that's, um, that's, a, that, that's the thing and now, we, yeah, for me it's not a surprise. He played a really good World Cup. But to do it consistently is, is more important than showing up and being away. So um, we will be, they and I, we will work together for a long time. So I have the opportunity to, to help him in that way. And uh, next time I say it.